<laughs> Kyle and Jackie out this morning. Dave Hughes is here, not for any announcement other than the fact that he has his DVD out. Yes. Uh, we What's just did Celebrity Pointless. Fill Up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, so many jokes you can make with that. But, <laughs> yeah, but you would have done those already. Yes, they've been done, no doubt about so it. You, so you left the panel and no one knows the what project, to call it. The project, yes. The project. Yes. Um, what, what, and to get back on stage. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if you know on TV, but uh, you, you actually, God, of course, you know. The, you know the earpiece in your ear when yes. people are telling you when you can and can't speak? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's not great. I <laughs> And you don't, have, that too. you don't have any of that on stage, right? None no, of that. none of that. Yeah. So, yeah. So. And, that's your, and that's your original love, obviously, is uh, getting up and, and doing Absolutely. your comedy thing. No doubt about it. Absolutely. So um, let's just talk about the elephant in the room for a yeah. second. You guys are all good. I mean, I know there was that dickhead comment and then Kyle Why said, I want to punch you. Why do you keep bringing it up? Yeah, no, yeah, it, it, you know, and I've told Dave this before. I know you have. Yeah. It was because I was a fan of his. Yes. And I was <laughs> sitting there and I was... There at the Logies, I know. and I was like, "Oh, great, Dave! I was one of my favourite comedians." <laughs> and then you know, you get all g'd up, and then and then the guy that you love <laughs> says that, and you're shattered. You, like, but, you just don't know what to but, say or do. But, but I look, you it know, it was a joke. I it know. was a joke. Bit and of be- truth, be- sure. Before the before the the actual ceremony started, I saw you walk past me, and yeah. I was gonna say something to you. Right. I was gonna go, mate. I'm gonna I'm about to yeah. just say something about you. Don't take it personally. Oh, but he, he just went past, and I just didn't get the chance to say. Maybe I was a bit scared. Yeah, I, I was fangirling you. I was like, oh my god, this is him. Mate, well, I might have been a bit scared to say that, but I reckon if I had said that, yeah. well, then that would have taken the hiss out of it. Oh, yeah, would have, exactly. and it would have been ruined. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, but you know your reaction was priceless. Let's I don't even remember what I did. I just thought it was but whatever dumbfounded. you do is whatever you do, you've got the ability to to make a story. You know yeah, what I mean? So yes. and, uh, and and you know what? And, and I was after all I was, these years, you I'll guys... put on ten kilos because I've been carrying <laughs> ten, all this anger ten. around. <laughs> it's yes, been a Jackie, bit more since ten. then, babe. <laughs> Okay, 15, 15 <laughs> kilos. And, well, look, oh, look I, I'm still a fan of your work. Thank you, I do appreciate that. I think you're excellent. Uh, I, I thought you had one of the greatest radio shows in the country as well. Not the greatest, <laughs> but one of the greatest. Um, and it, and it's and, Why and, did you leave? Well, look, these hours are tough, aren't they, guys? You, you they do are. them. You've done them for a long time. Yeah. So it's hard to leave, though. I know that hours It's hard to leave, but you. it's really... I mean, I... And I, I to be honest, I left for the stand-up, really. I yeah. love stand-up, and you can't really do stand-up comedy no. if you're doing this, the breakfast shift. If you're doing another shift, I reckon you can. Yeah. yeah. You so know? what, you'd be able to have mm. time to do another shift maybe if someone wanted you to do one? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Which uh, is still, you know, I can still work at night. So How yeah. how how, uh, how much work goes into putting one of these DVDs together? They just film you uh, on stage? Yeah, or? but towards the end of the tour. So it was actually done in Sydney at the Sydney uh, Comedy Store. I wanted a, a grungy feel of, of, you know, back to a club rather than doing right. a big theatre where you start to feel a little bit stilted sometimes. Right, so right. yeah, so um but yeah, I mean there's there's a lot of work goes into it basically. Night after night you're working, you're always honing your craft on when you're on stage. So yeah. And, and yeah, so one by the time you get to the D V D you hope you hope it's ready to go. And, and, and who do you like in the business? Do you still get on with that Kate uh, girl that you had on the on the yeah, Absolutely, radio? yeah. No, yeah be best all mates. Good, all good if we didn't. We live around the corner from each other, we don't see each other that often, but yeah, yeah. no, it's uh, she's she's lovely, no doubt about it. You, and never, you, went guys there. Get you never went there though. Never went there, mate. No. no. Well, I don't think it would have worked out. I mean, she scares me. I won't deny that. <laughs> <laughs> she's very attractive, but she's, uh, yeah. She's, very scary. Do you I guys totally ever have, have any big blues? Or We any? had many big blues over the years. So last few years, we, 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 we paired it back to just us two, I reckon. When yeah. you've got a third person in there... I reckon there's more, and you guys are smart, just the two of you. Yeah. A yeah. third person, yeah. you start to take sides, and yes. for one week you think you're on the outer, yeah. and the next yeah. week the other person thinks they're on yeah, the outer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've never had that because we've been too greedy from the start. <laughs> but I think it's smart just yeah. to have two of you so that, you know, you, you both get enough time to talk. Yeah. And with three people, oh, no, start no. To- I don't get any time to talk here. <laughs> I might get a little comment in here or there, but there's no mistake who's doing the talking. Um, so with this pointless DVD, obviously when you're doing that, these... that came out wrong. Yep. <laughs> Just I'm quiet. happy. Why did you, why, yeah, was that the was that the tour name pointless? It or? was. Yeah. I mean, I I read recently that the sun's going to burn out in about three billion years, and yeah. then I realised that what <laughs> what we're doing here is not going to make any difference. So yeah. so the whole thing's pointless. Like every breath you take, basically. True. So what's it all for? Yeah, everything it's written about you or not. 
not written about you, it's, it's not going to matter in the end. So yeah, right. I think that's liberating. You know, it we is, can all sail through life realizing that we're just going to be dust one day. Oh God, I hate the thought of that. I want to live on forever. I know you do, but I you're want not going to. Saddam gonna. Hussein. Gonna, I want might... the Saddam statues. <laughs> I want the whole lot. Look, you'll get it for a while, but no. <laughs> then you'll be forgotten. Yeah, you know, Wally Lewis, he's, in, he's immortalized. Uh, in yeah, this, but when the yeah. sun burns out, Queensland's yeah. going to lose it first because they, they appreciate so it most. True. And who do you test your material out on? Do you ever have situations where you think you've got this great piece and and it doesn't get the wait, reaction you want? Wait till an audience because if your wife's in a bad mood, you might try yeah. something out on her, and, and she yeah. didn't laugh, and so you never try it on stage, and yeah. she didn't laugh because she hates you that day. Yeah. Oh, so you, know? you so, test it out on stage? Yeah, on stage, you need a group of people in front of you to realise whether something's funny or right, not. So, right. Yeah, and, and yeah, and then the bigger the audience, the, if they really don't laugh, you really know it's really not funny. Oh, so. no, that's yeah. the thing. Would mm, that would rattle horrible. me? That would really put me off my game if they weren't finding it funny from the beginning. She has an issue with public speaking, believe yeah. it or not. But, but, but you do this every day and, you, and yeah. thousands of people listening. But I don't listening. have to look at anyone. I know. Look, I do I, I do prefer when I do a, sh- a stage show that the audience are in the dark. Yeah. I, I mean, I did one the other night in Cairns and they were so lit up. And like when you're in yeah. a bad mood, you just you just look around the audience for someone just staring at you. Yeah. Like yes. you're ruining their night. Yeah. And like <laughs> whether people around them are laughing, you're just singing that and that, that person knows yeah. I'm rubbish. <laughs> so. you, do, you can't get on stage in front of anyone without going to pieces. Oh, he knows what I'm like. I'm a mess backstage. Yeah. I really well, it's hate it. It's people's biggest fear. More it is. Dying, yeah. which is crazy. Not yeah. me. I love it. I'm a glory hound. I yeah, love getting out there. It. Exactly. I have to make promises to her <laughs> every time we do anything together. She says to me just before they announce us, she's like, now please don't do anything. <laughs> don't say anything. You'd be and I'm afraid like, Babe, to. I'm never going to do anything. And then the auto cue stops working. And then I just go on a, a filthy rant swearing at everybody. <laughs> I can't use the auto cue. On the project, they tried to get me to use the auto cue. It's and, stupid. And it was like, I would just, I would pause in the wrong spots. And <laughs> eventually I just said, don't worry about it. Uh, like, so yeah. you left radio for the stand-up and yep. then you left the TV show for the stand-up. Yeah. Are you actually going to do the stand up? I'm still doing the stand up, absolutely, right. and yeah. and and yeah, the stand up will will continue without a doubt. And uh, but you know, I mean, yeah, that will continue. But yeah. um, uh, you know, if you get other opportunities and they're really good opportunities at a great network, you, yeah. you yeah. think about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean either. All I do, I do have a weird premonition, and I'm not even a psychic that I will be seeing a lot more of you around the halls at the Melbourne station. Well, yeah, like, who knows? I just, who I just knows? Feel who it. knows? But in the meantime, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Hughes pointless DVD is available November 6th. Oh, who DVD wrote it's consistently digital. hilarious? Someone. I remember you're rooting someone at the Herald Sun. No, I just wanted them to say I was a genius. That's all you want. Is that Five all you ever want? Five from the Sunday yeah. Mail. Oh, no, they had a four and a half star review on there as well. I said, get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. drop I'm that off the, the front. Five star, just go with that. I don't want people thinking about the half star that they didn't, I didn't have. <laughs>